afternoon, YouTube. It is 2.30 in the afternoon in Honolulu, Hawaii. And we're just coming to you guys to talk, to talk, mom talk, to talk, maybe wife talk, to talk marriage life, to talk babies and runny noses. No, but yes, you guys, um... It's been a lot. It's been a lot. And people don't really know what um, military wives or, you know, what we have to go through when it comes to being married to someone in the <laughs> serving our our country because it's really hard. Like, I knew what I signed up for. I knew, you know what I mean, because I love him. I love him to death. I love my husband with everything in me. But it's just sometimes it's hard, especially with him. So last night, y'all, last night. So Cam has been sick maybe two two weeks. Um, first he got sick, it was fever, you know, diarrhea, the whole bit, nose, his throat, everything. And then it comes to find out he still has it today. And now I'm thinking it's him, him teething. So he like when I give him the sippy cup, he would chew on the straw and stuff. So now I'm coming to the realization that maybe it's just um, yeah, his molars. I think his molars are coming back because he has eight teeth in the front, and then yeah, I think it's his molars. But, yeah, you want to get down, Daddy? But, yeah, I think it's his his molars coming in. But, anyway, yeah, I wrote some things down. So, I am going to look it down a little bit. But, um, me and my husband have been married for one year. Um, We've been knowing each other together for two. Um, He is the love of my life. He is everything. He's my best friend. That is the person that I talk to. So for Cam to be sick and for him to be gone, y'all, I called my husband at 3 o'clock this morning and was like, baby, just crying because Cam has been sick and I haven't been getting no sleep. So I don't know what it is. I would blow his nose. I give Cam a bath every night. Every night I give Cam a bath. So I don't know what what's really been going on to where... It's like from the hours of maybe like 2 to 5, Cam is in and out of sleep for this past week or so because of, I guess, the sinuses and the pain and all that and him not being able to breathe. So I'm having to get up and suck snot out of my son's nose. I love him. I love him to death. But it is very, very hard and challenging because during the day, I can't nap because then I don't sleep at night. I don't know why, y'all, but my, my sleep schedule is really messed up since my husband hasn't been here. I'm used to him sleeping in the bed with me. Like, I miss my baby. I miss my baby. But, um, yeah, it's been crazy because Cam is missing his dad. He misses his dad. He misses him being around. I can definitely notice now that it's also because he's not here. The absence of him being here is hard. Don't touch that. You want to come back up here? It's hard. I'm starting to realize that, you know, <laughs> your nose is running, Stickle. Your nose. You want to play with your snot rack? But I can tell that he definitely misses him. I miss him. Like, it's really hard. But um, definitely that him being absent here, present, I just miss him sitting, chilling, playing 2K, like not even doing nothing. But it would definitely be easier as far as sleeping because we could just switch off. Like, you know, during this time at night, my husband would probably be up playing the game. So it would be better, you know, he would watch him and me sleep or whatever. But it has it's been really hectic because Cam is not trying to sleep. And... Today was okay because even though I didn't go to sleep till like 5, I'm already staying up because my husband is in Guam and he is a day ahead and then four hours behind Hawaii. So technically four hours behind. It, the day really doesn't mess us up because we already know, you know. But him being four hours behind sucks because like I'll be well into my day about to get ready for bed and he will still be out. You know what I mean? So like I'll already be up till 3 o'clock trying to talk to him and still give him my time and FaceTime. And then this little booger wants to stay up till five o'clock and you know it's just it's very that has been challenging for me but um a couple days ago so let's just like the reason why i haven't i was supposed to leave august i quit my job y'all i put in my month's notice i mean i just started my job i just um last year i graduated um from the dental school of hawaii i went to school for dental assisting and that is like my passion of right now. And I had to, you know, quit my job months in advance because we were thinking we're moving to Guam. They kept pushing it back, kept pushing it back. It's those who are in the military, you know that um that um 
you know, you never know. When orders come, you never know when it's going to come to pass because I don't know why, but it kept getting pushed. So finally we get to, what, November, December, they're like, really, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. So I got my passport. My passport came within a week. My husband being gone this month and me trying to get my passport. <coughs> okay. They wouldn't let me get my, my son's passport without his dad being here. So then I had to send, um, you know, call him. He has to send a signed notary, like a sign. Someone has to be there for him to sign it for Cam to go. Like, I'm taking Cam out of the country, and he doesn't know. Like, I'm taking Cam to go out. I'm not trying to take and steal Cam. So basically, he has to get permission. I have to get permission from his father. So the reason why we haven't been gone is because it took forever. So the other night, I just... Man, I had to talk to God. I had to let him know what was going on. Because I know he knows. But I had to let him know on my side. I just cried. Because I'm just like, I'm ready to go. I'm in a state where I have an attitude. Because my husband's not around. And that's not okay um, for me. Um, but yeah. And, you know, then the next day, Cam's back. Mind you, okay. me and Cam and like, are you, Jesus, both you so very much for sick. Then, so, in you know, the video, the I am talking here. very loud. Some, today or tomorrow. But it's because... So <laughs> My nose is Sometime stuck. Next week. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We should be leaving to Guam, yeah, sometime um, next week, hopefully. And we should be seeing Daddy soon. I really hope. Um, I don't know, y'all. But the my prayer definitely came through because I was I was just asking him like, what do you want me to do? Like, I, I quit my job. I'm staying at home with him, and I'm solely dependent on my husband's income. I'm such an independent person, so to see all this transaction, I'm thinking like, all this six months of me being here, I could have, I could have um been working, saving up money and things like that. You know what I mean for for us for our future, so that I wouldn't have to worry about that. Y'all cutting off my my coin. And then telling me that we're not leaving to a certain time, it really kind of um, messed everything up. But, I mean, military wives, you should know that that's, they're just not dependable. They just, they take forever. So, yeah, we are stationed in Honolulu, Hawaii right now. Um, I've been here for about seven years. My husband's been here about a year or so. I'm not sure. Not, not, not that long, though. Um, but, yes, yes y'all i'm like i'm really dying i didn't think that it was going to be so hard it's just the transition like cam can you could definitely see that cam misses that every time you on facetime he <laughs> try to kiss him and hug him through the phone and you can definitely tell he misses his absence so definitely think that they, they they don't tell you like about having a child and being you know moving a lot is that you know you have to get accustomed to that not even his dad not being here, it definitely did a switch. I think it, it I don't know what it did, but Cam, <laughs> peek a -boo. Peek -a -boo. Peek -a -boo. Oh, oh, oh. On that aspect, it's been hard because oh, it is, yeah. But um, other than that, um, I am blessed. I am very blessed. Um, you know what I mean? Nothing between my husband has lacked. We we are doing very well with this long distance, whatever. You know what I mean? I know God wouldn't put more on me and my family that we could bear. So I, I definitely have had my doubts. I'm not going to lie. This has been testing my faith. This has been testing my relationship. But as far as us, we are good. I feel like... I haven't prayed harder in my life, really, because I just want everything to go so smooth. Like, being in the military, they pay for your flight for you to leave. They pay for you guys to move out. They pay for the for the pack out and all that. So, we have to depend on them. So, I can't leave. You'll get that in a second, baby, okay? You can't get that on camera. You can't get that on camera. But, yeah, y'all, it's just been, it's been a lot. Um... But I thank y'all. I thank y'all. I have a hundred plus views on every video I posted. Y'all, I've only been up here for about a week or two. And the video I just posted last week or the beginning of this week, I have a hundred views on it already. The only thing is, you guys are not subscribing. You guys have to subscribe. Okay, I need subscribers. But I really hope this 
broke down my crazy live and what's going on um as you can see it is breastfeeding time and cam is like what are you doing with my titty what is you doing you gonna say bye bye you gonna say bye bye But yes, you guys, I, I appreciate you listening to my ramble. I hope it wasn't too everywhere, like, I don't know. But I thank you guys so much. I thank you for listening to my life. And I, I hope you guys continue to follow and watch. Please like and subscribe somewhere below here. And thank you. You guys all have a blessed day. Bye. 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 Dad, 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 dad. <laughs> you gonna call dad, dad right now? You wanna call dad, dad? <gasps>